السلام علیکم دوستو I hope that you guys are fine and doing great Today we are going to discuss the new and devised revenue recognition standard that is IFRS 15 and we are going to understand and analyze the change in revenue recognition pattern that have been brought to this standard We will judge, we will understand, we will take a scenario see the accounting treatment that would have been made using the old accounting standard IS 18 and how IFRS 15 have changed the mechanism and how it is going to impact the companies and the figures of revenue and profit that they report in their financial statements. Today's topic is going to be very interesting. So I request all of you to keep engaged with us and listen till the very end. If there are any questions, you can always contact us through the comment section or our Facebook page which have already been shared with you in our previous videos. Friends, let's start. IFRS 15 The new standard have introduced the 5 steps model. The first step is the identification of conflict of the company with the customer. What is a contract? A contract is an agreement that clearly outlays enforceable rights both for the company and the customer. It specifies the rights and obligations of both parties that are engaged and involved in the agreement. The second step is to identify the performance obligations that are involved in the contract. For example, what goods have to be delivered, what services have to be provided by the company. The third step is determination of the transition price, the consideration that the customer will be paying to the company, to the business, against the receipt of goods and services. The fourth step is to allocate the determined transition price to the individual performance obligations that are built in in the contract, identified at step one. For example, the contract might involve the provision of services after sale services after the sale of any goods. The fifth step is to recognize revenue upon delivery of individual performance obligations involved in the contract. Industries that are involved in bundled contracts that sell products and also provide services that are linked with those products are going to be most impacted with this change introduced to IFRS 15. IS 18, the previous standard, was mainly focused on transfer of risk and rewards. Now, how the post standards differentiate, we are going to discuss with you through an easy to understand example. We are going to take the telecom sector as an example. For example, Mr. Abdullah enters into a 12 month contract with Mobilink. The terms agreed on his polling that he will be paying monthly charges of PKR 8000 for 12 months to the Mobilink. At start of the contract, Mobilink will be providing a handset free of cost to Abdullah. When you see the market price of the set and the price at which Mobilink sells the individual handset to the customer. 48,000 and cost and mobbing is charging for the package that have been offered to Abdullah is picking up 4,000 per month. Now, let's see that how revenue will be recognized under both standards IS 18 and IFRS 15. Revenue under IS 18 IS 18 recommends that mobbing should identify separate elements that are involved in the contract between Mobling and Abdullah and allocate the transition price. It's the same as mentioned in IFRS 15, but IS 18 did not provide any specific guidelines at how to separate the components and how to allocate the price. So for simplicity, the practice that was being followed under IS 18 was a revenue recognition on a straight line basis that is PKR 8000 per month. No separate revenue was recognized from the provision of handset 
separately. And modeling used to recognize we get 8,000 per month revenue from month 1 to month 12. The handset was charged in the account of the companies as provided to the customer, free of cost, and as cost for acquisition of the customer. How I was thinking of changing the first step was the identification of contracts that exist and if possible rights have been identified. Second step is the performance obligation that is the provision of handset and the provision of monthly charges to the customer. Transition price is PPR 96,000. Allocation of transition price to performance obligations will be as following. Stand, uh, handset Standalone selling price is PKR 48,000. So 48,000 revenue will be recognized on the provision of handset and as a uh, standalone price for the package of Rupert Abdullah is PKR 4,000. 4,000 per month will be recognized over the next 12 months. And this is the pattern of recognition of revenue under IFRS 18. So in the provision of handset, no revenue was recognized in IS 18, but 48,000 rupees will be recognizing under the new standard. And the state line basis of PKR 8000 under IS 18, the reference 15, it will be 4000 per month, which is the standalone selling price of the package offered to Abdullah. So, this model will result in more realistic revenue patterns reflected in the accounts of the company. And so, guys, the pattern of reporting of revenue have changed. Results will be different under both standards for long term contract. This will result in difference in tax obligations as different revenue and profit figures will be reported in different accounting period using both accounting standards. New standard provides more accurate picture of transitions over the period. I hope that today's session was simple and easy for you guys to understand. If there are any questions, you can always keep us posted. Contact us through our Facebook page or YouTube or the contact number which we have shared with you in our previous video. Take care guys. Thank you so much for being with us. Bye. I love this.